you have the big brush, but you're doing small brush strokes with it. Okay. Try to handle. When I handled that large area over there, yeah. you saw those sweeping motions of big right. okay. wet movements. That will bring this together easier, faster, and easier. But you need to make this darker. Once you got that darker, then you can go with dry brush to create the texture on top. Okay. Okay, and then okay. highlights. Yeah. Right. Okay. And you can get a little bit darker through here, opposing the photograph. It had quite a bit of dark in here. You don't need all that dark. But you can darken this up with some more grand yeah. movements in here. Okay. And then down here, I would have wet this whole area, saturated it, and gone in with various colors and variations of this color and the greens down in here. So, because each brush stroke that you can see makes it choppy. That, okay. That makes it busy. Yeah. And mm -hmm. right now, my eye is static everywhere. Okay. Right. When well, you look it's very at that, busy. Yes, it's very busy. When you look at that, I tried to make it hold together. Okay. Okay. So you need to create those large movements, but all these brush strokes here are like putting in detail. Your eyes attract to detail. Yeah. You have these brush strokes equal everywhere. And I only have brush strokes in certain areas right. that are small. And then some okay. of them that are small are hidden kind of subtly off to the right-hand side of the people. Yeah. But try to get these things coming together a little okay. bit more. Okay. Better flow. Better flow, work okay. more wet at the beginning. Okay. And I think you, then you put all that stuff on top of it. Okay. You're looking at too many small things at the beginning, possibly. Probably. Because I've been working smaller, you know. Okay. Well, that's, that happens. I used to do the same thing and then find out that I'm not working wet enough. Okay. But thank you very much. I feel I learned. But you're working colorful enough. Yes, yeah. she is. Yeah. That's the thing I like. I like to see people work colorful enough at the beginning mm -hmm. and then wet enough. Those are the two main things. Well, you went back and sprayed, and I can do that. Sure right? you can. Yeah. Yeah. This will, I will do that. You could still work on this and make it a whole lot better by wetting down. Take the spray thing, yeah. that thing you have. Wet it down so you're not brushing water on here, and then flow the large, darker areas on top. Okay. And then work on top of that. Yeah, because this is really a different technique than I'm used to. Yeah, that's yeah. and I, that's going to throw you for a loop to begin with. Uh, Kathy works a lot, some about like this. Kathy Loss, Loss Rathman, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of dark. Every artist that you're going to bump into works differently. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I know. In little ways or big ways, doesn't make any difference. And it's best to know a lot of different ways so that you can kind of take what you want. And well, you, you learn want. from everyone, you yeah. know. Oh, sure. Yeah. And I have learned. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. 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 <laughs> this in here can be a little bit darker to help differentiate from this Horizontal plane. Oh, so okay. The vertical plane. Oh, okay. okay. So keep, keep the, the trees <clears throat> yeah. darker so than when, that. So when you're looking at planes or the values of them, the sky is usually the lightest. Mm -hmm. Not always, but usually, mm -hmm. unless you have dark clouds like what um, Margaret is painting. But you have the sky, and then you have the ground, which is second lightest. As soon as you slant this a little bit, it gets darker. So you have mountains, mm -hmm. you have roofs, whatever. That's the next lightest, and then the vertical plane, which is always the darkest, depending on what the local value of it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this can be a little bit darker down here. I would make it darker up here, for the simple fact that it would you could easily start making it too close to this, and mm -hmm. your eye's going to do this. Mm -hmm. You want it to softly go back, so a little bit darker here, just to pull yourself away from this ground plane here. Mm -hmm you can add a little bit more texture and darkness in here just to set this back because if you're going to make this darker then that has to go darker because darks get lighter as they go back mm -hmm. okay but this can be noodled out a little bit more you can still add more texture here see how we saved what was there yeah yeah, yeah. it was getting a tad yeah. muddy yeah you can make this a little bit more intense here mm -hmm. and i like what is going on here right. you can add touches of it, little touches oh, back here, okay. bring it all the way across and kind of bring it down into kind of that trail that's dipping down. Right. And you can bring a little bit more of that in there. 
but I wouldn't do anything more with this in here or anything back there. Okay. And then you have the deer to tend yeah. work to. Yeah. But I think you got a pretty good start. You didn't oh, need to do it. anything else with the sky. No. That's, you were tempted. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, because you need your place for the eye to rest someplace. And if mm -hmm. you do more up here, then it takes, you're going to have to do more down here to balance that out. Oh, okay. Then there's no purpose to it. Does that white spot bother you? Should I soften that a little bit? You could soften it maybe a touch. Um, it depends on, I would do the deer first to see how light that's going to be and how what the darks look like. Mm -hmm. But I would not go up in here. I would touch this. I might go up in here yeah, and soften the top part and drag okay. it out. Yeah, okay. But I wouldn't do too much. And maybe soften it into here a little bit more. So it's a gradual soft softness. Kind of like the way this yeah. is soft here. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I like with what you got in the background. Yeah. Okay. What about the path? Does it need any of Anything else? Um, let's see. Direction of light is... I'm not sure, though. No. Because I have it coming this way on I'm, the tree, but then again, my shadows are going... Well, it's got to go yeah, this way. Yeah, right. Okay. This shadow here can be from something over right, here. Right, right. You don't have to have the object in there. Um, I would make... If the light's coming in like this, this is catching light here. Mm -hmm. This would not uh, be. So right. it's going to go down. Okay. So you have to look at how things move down mm -hmm. and come back mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. um, but this this area here, but this one first, second, and then third, okay. and then the deer. Okay. One big thing. Yes. You've got to make sure that all five pumpkins Especially these two and this one are toned out. Yeah. The top one of this comes forward. This is going to be your main pumpkin. Tone this down with mm -hmm. a little bit of the color that's underneath here, very lightly, to get that sphero spherical look. Right. Did you get that on tape? Okay. <laughs> that's um, a good word. I think you need dashes of accent color back in here. Some of this, mm -hmm. some more blue. Um, Maybe a little bit of orange in there. Yeah, the some end. of the orange, some of the green, this just so like it shows up every, um, with a toothbrush. toothbrush. Yeah. With the Put paper towels across this. But this down in here, um, I made this like very Google subtle edge, yeah. edge of a board that this is sitting on. These don't have to be on anything to make, you don't have to make any sense out of it. Right. But these need to be toned down, mm -hmm. um, gray the orange down quite a bit. Okay. And this, you can bring out the top of this a little bit more than what you're doing over here. Not too much, mostly on this edge, not that edge, because you're going to go out. Leave the bucket alone. Yeah, I think if you do point. anything more to it, mm -hmm. it's going to supersede what's out here. Okay. And then um, I need something in the bucket. I'm not sure what to do up there. Just I don't on. think you need anything in the bucket. I like it. Just Except a, just to finish it off color. back yeah. here. Yeah. Okay. Because right. if you put anything in the bucket, you're adding another element. You don't know what you're doing with okay. at this point. And what do I do with the color above it? Just I kind of fade it in or down. something? Okay. No, I would leave it alone. Okay. Because you don't want the dark going all the way across. I like the where it has the light up here. And is the, um, when I complete the bucket, is the bucket in this area lighter or darker than what's going on out here? This is going to be lighter up here. Okay. All right. Okay. It's the same thing as this to this. <clears throat> yes. Okay. This is going to be always darker than what's on top over here. Okay. All right. Yeah, I don't see. Did you take a picture of the picture so you have it? No, I will. Pumpkins will be the fun, fun part. Yeah. The road in the demonstration where I very quickly ran mm -hmm. the ruts of the road. Do this, it will help break this up. Mm -hmm. And then before you do that, run a cast shadow across on an angle going down very quickly. And that will cut the road off here, and it won't end over here because this is matching this too much. Mm -hmm. So if you tone this down across here, 
that means our eye has to jump up and over and we'll go back here further faster. Mm -hmm. So like with a, a bluish blue brownish wash. wash. Just a quick right. And then take and texturize this a little bit more with some of these colors down in here. Mm -hmm. And not equally, but just make a pattern that's kind of random that's broken up. And then this right here, this edge here, mm -hmm. you want to take that and break that up. It's too even like this was back here. Mm -hmm. we, you have a tendency of making things nice and even, mm -hmm. equal. <laughs> but break this up a little bit. You don't have to do anything back here, just up in this section. Just some spikes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Bring it up and down a little bit more. But I like the way you handled this back here. The sky is fine. In fact, you can actually bring some of this color down in right here. Oh, okay. The reflected. To, uni to unify it a little yeah. bit more. But that's pretty good. Well, simple landscapes are harder to do mm -hmm. because you can't hide things with all the detail you can put in on something else. Actually, I don't think these are that bad. I think you need to show things going in and out in the background. You can also show some other limbs that come, go in and out of here, smaller ones along. Okay. You've got big ones in here, now you need ones coming off of there. Because okay. these look like they're just yeah, like this. Yeah, just the way they look. Yeah, I know, but use your imagination. <laughs> Do I want to lift any in there? Yeah, you could spray this. Spray. And lift, that. and then hit some color with the uh, <coughs> toothbrush with some color in it. Okay. This should be darker up here. It's, it's too intense by itself. Okay. So add some darks in there. Um, run some something across through here to tone it down. Okay. Because this is too light and it's fighting with this back here. So um, tinted. Tinted down, whatever. And you could pull out some lights in here after you spray this to get texture. Okay. But you could put a few more trees in here. I don't like the equalness here. Mm. That's okay. <coughs> Bless you. Yeah. Bring mm. bring the tree up through here so that this is broken up a little bit differently. Okay. And having this with nothing in there, very lightly show a few trees. Okay. Bring it back on, on Thursday. Just a few. On Thursday? Okay. Yeah. And then you can add some, pull up some texture in here too with the spray. Put the spray down. That's not bad though. Okay. This Ooh. is a hard subject to paint for most people. Mm. Why is that? It looks good. Um, there's something about the color of the cabin uh, or the garage. It, it's got a aged blue green on it that's hard to Patina. get to attain that. And plus, it's falling down in different ways and it leans this way and that way. She has it drawn. A little bit too perfectly compared to what it is that doesn't make any difference but to get the character of this place it's really hard because he's it's off the highway and this actually slopes down right away oh. and back mm. and I he built up the garage floor but that's starting to sink and it's falling out the oh. back end from what I remember I don't even know who lives here anymore down in that oh. property because <laughs> we used to stay at the resort that was just on the other side of that and they had a hundred feet right down to the lake, about probably sixteen hundred feet going down to the lake. And it was a little modest house, but there's been three or four generations of people that live there. Oh, wow. Same people, same hmm. family. And then we can add some more texture up in here. Yeah, figured I'd erase. Yeah. In there. This is not that bad since we darken mm -hmm. this up. This needs to be toned down a little bit up here, especially the window needs to be darker. Okay. There actually is glass in that window, but there's something behind the glass, and I don't know what it is. Okay. This light right here, mm -hmm. get rid of it. Okay. It's the only thing in there that's like that besides what you're going to get rid of here. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Not bad. Thank you. All right. Nice.